Hello, Intermakers. My name is Dante Gutierrez, and I'm a student at the University of Texas at El Paso, otherwise known as UTEP. I'm a senior student majoring in mechanical engineering with a minor in electrical engineering. I'm currently an intern at Google, working for Google Daydream as a mechanical engineering intern. Um, I was born and raised in northern Mexico. For 18 years, I lived in Chihuahua, and then I moved to El Paso to continue my higher education. I'm a first-generation student, and I'm really happy to share my experience with you. So everything started back in October of 2019. Google came to campus to host several resume review sessions, and I attended one of those, and I was able to really connect with one of the recruiters. I shared my story with him, my projects, my leadership, and I was able to get a lot of feedback from him. He helped me tailor my resume specifically toward the mechanical engineering intern position. I heard back from him three weeks later and that they had a technical interview prepared for me. So I went through the technical interview, then we had two host matching interviews. And in January, I received a job offer letter and I started the internship at the end of January. And it's been four months now and it's two more months to go. Being an international student really difficult the process. For instance, most of my experience had been in aerospace engineering. So I had applied to diverse companies such as NASA, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and all of them rejected me for not being able to comply with the citizenship status. So when I found out that Google and other tech companies were hiring international students, I really pushed my, my mind into applying to there. But with no internship, it, it really became difficult. So what I did was during my summers, I went back to Mexico with my father and each summer we had a different project. For instance, my freshman year, the first summer after my freshman year, I worked in developing a jet engine from scratch. I worked together with my father. We got the pieces from scrap yards. We assembled the jet engine. We received some feedback from uh, people at NASA, the university too, and we made it work. And it was a, a successful project. I shared that with several recruiters. Even at the Google interviews, I was able to share that project. Uh, also, leadership its a great key uh, element. For instance, I ran as collegiate senator for the Student Government Association. I represented the whole College of Engineering, and I was able to work alongside the Dean of Engineering. We, come up with, we came up with different projects, such as uh, programming, tutorials, um, fundraising events, we had uh, professional events such as the one by Google. And all of this really gave me an edge in the, in the interviews. Even if I had no previous big internship, I was able to show that I really wanted this position. As far as technical stuff, I really recommend all of you mechanical engineers, especially to know your basics. You know, we, w once we get to senior level, we get caught up with thermodynamics, uh, fluid mechanics, and we understand those sometimes pretty well, but we, we tend to forget the, uh, the simpler stuff. For instance, the technical interviews really revolve around those, and the interviewer wants to know if you have understood the basics. So study those. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions in the interview. I ask a lot of questions. Also, don't be afraid to make mistakes and start over. If you're coming up with a solution and midway you find out that it's not a good solution, tell the recruiter that, oh, sorry, the interviewer to, that you have another solution and you can start over. And make sure to say out loud what, um, what you're thinking. So the, re the interviewer can go through your thought process. Another advice I would give you is 
be calm and be honest. If you don't know something, just tell an interviewer that you don't know it. But make sure you tell them that you know how to look for that information and have a plan. Another advice for mechanical engineers, make sure you know your CAD tools very well. Expect the interviewer to ask you specifically on your software you're using. What advice would I give to someone who wants to become an intern at Google is to don't be afraid to apply. I, w I was really afraid of applying to a big company such as Google, not having a big internship before. I thought I was at a big disadvantage compared to any, uh, any other candidate. So Google is a company that really reflects the topic of Googliness. Googliness means being helpful, being cheerful, and being a well-rounded person. That's how I would describe it. Make sure you have those skills with you. Make sure you're a person that can communicate easily with other ones. Make sure that you can communicate your problems clearly. It's really important that you also have a life aside from school. For instance, I'm a music producer. I like to produce music, to compose, arrange. And th this is all I do when I have a uh, free time and I love to share these experiences, my songs with other people. I was able to share those with the interviewers. So make sure you have something that you're passionate about that may not be related to your field and something that you can share with the with the recruiter or the interviewer. Another advice I would like to give you is to, uh, to get out there, to post your projects on LinkedIn. I was able to work with my manager and we looked for people on LinkedIn that had worked in similar projects that the ones we're doing at, at, at Google. So he was able to refer those to recruiters. So yes, post everything every project, everything you're passionate about, post it on LinkedIn or on this big sh social media, and you'll definitely be heard or seen by someone at, at a big company. Also, apply online. There's You don't have to spend $1,000 to go to a, um, a career fair. You can always apply online or on LinkedIn. I would say that 30% or 40% of the people at my internship were hired through LinkedIn or through any other social media platform or even directly through the Google application. One side project that I would recommend for anyone who's trying to get into Google, especially in the product design aspect, is to design your own product. Document it, have a good presentation, uh, do the cats, do a simple uh, tolerance analysis, even a thermal simulation, depending on the product you're designing, write some code, document it pretty neatly and share it with someone else. One internship advice is to make sure that once you get the internship, you document everything you do. Make sure you ask for help and meet your coworkers. Um, for instance, I have a daily log where I write down every single thing I do each day. And it has been very useful when I'm trying to remember um, when I did something or how I did it or what was my what was going on in my life when I did it. Even if you don't get into the internship at the first attempt, don't be discouraged. There are many other opportunities. And even if you don't get an internship, as I told you before, you can always create your own projects and work on them. You can always collaborate or ask a professor for voluntary work. There's so many possibilities and there's so many things that you can do to um, gain those skills that you can gain in an internship. I also recommend you looking for um, online tutorials such as EDX, Coursera, where you can learn a new skill on your own for free. For instance, I've taken this time that we've been in quarantine to learn how to program in Python. And I took it a step further and learned how to do machine learning, AI, and I was able to connect with uh, leaders in the industry. Um, even inside Google, I was able to connect with other people that are not related to my field. And this has really made my internship uh, a well-rounded experience. Lastly, um, connect with other interns once you get the internship. 
you're all in the same boat and make sure you get their contact info and if you're getting more interviews at the end of the internship make sure you practice with them also tell your mentor to give you advice and don't feel don't feel afraid that um, you're asking him too many questions i i know i had that same fear at the beginning of the internship but my my host uh, is interested in be, uh, in me being successful and i know every host thinks the same way so make sure to reach out to your host so thank you intern makers for um having me and if anyone wants to follow me um dante gutierrez again in linkedin or you if you want to listen to my music it's dante gutierrez i have an album called horizon and you can find it in spotify apple music or google play music